Alright guys, so in this video, uh, I'm going to be wrapping up the last of the paintwork left to do on the Mustang. Um, I have here, Eurichem makes it. It's a urethane product. It's a two-part, so it's got a catalyst and it's got a reducer. Um, it's going to be satin black. They also have a uh, semi-gloss black, which I thought would be too shiny. And they also have a flat, which I think would be too flat. I got the satin. Um, as the car sits right now, I kind of got all the, the parts roughly buffed out. Um, they just need like to go over it with a polish, swirl remover. Um, but I got the hood on, I got it denibbed, and I got the hood on. The whole car is bagged. Um, I got the trunk on. And um, I'm also going to be doing this lower piece here. This insert here is going to be satin black same product. I'll probably do this and the roof together. Um, over here I was going to do that lower valance on the back uh, bumper. I don't have any more room in my garage so I have all the parts here covered in plastic. I'll probably do that a separate time. Um, I also have a whole box of parts under here. I got new headlights, uh, Mach 1 chin spoiler for the front bumper. I got a new cow panel. Um, I got a new rear window um, seal. I'll be putting all that on when I go to assemble the car, um, but for today, I think if I get that rear uh, trunk panel painted and the roof painted, I think that's a solid day. So, I'm going to get to that.
Alright guys, so it's three days later, um, I couldn't do anything with the car for the last three days, just sat in the garage. I just untaped it, unmasked it, and pulled it out, and uh, well, let's see what it looks like out in the sun. Let me check out the level of gloss on it, not too bad. I mean, I would recommend this stuff, um, this Yuri Ken. Super, super flat feeling. Gloss is pretty cool. Um, the only thing you gotta be real careful with this stuff because you can't buff it. Um, I did get one little piece of dirt somewhere over here. Uh, right there. But still not too bad for doing it in a garage. You can check out the uh, sheen on it and just ignore this horrible tint job. I gotta get that off of there. And here's the back panel. It's just dust. That's it. That's how it came out. I'm going to move on to uh, probably some little assembly stuff. I'll try to get this thing together. But you can actually see it coming along. At least we got all the, the hood and the trunk on it. The bumpers need a little bit of work, then they can go on. Um, I got new bulbs coming for the taillights. So. But at least here's a little peek what it looks like, shave scoops, um, shaves, GT emblem there. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, I hope that helped you out. If you're in the market for some sort of satin, easy, single stage -y kind of paint, um, I would actually recommend this stuff, but you can actually see the, the gloss level on the satin, and then you can gauge from there what you need. Um, so please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll see you on the next one.